G, C, G, C. There we go. One bright day, two brothers argued near a well. They argued until one went home and claimed the other fell. Okay. That's kind of dark. How about you go first? Nope, I guess I'm going right. It's this one. I didn't think to look in the little globe to see where we were going. I kind of wanted to be surprised if there's new areas or something like that. But, oh, oh God. Oh, God, no. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Waltz of the Wizard. So the first time we checked out this new extended version of the game, we managed to brew up half a dozen all new spells, as well as get reintroduced to some old familiar friends, for lack of better words. But the one thing we didn't get to do was practice on my interdimensional xylophone. And everybody knows that a good wizard has mastery over his xylophone. Isn't that right, Skull? Right? Right? <laughs> right. I may friggin' hate his non-existing guts, but I kinda need him to translate what's going on around here. He's the only talkative one. <laughs> so, we'll just magical jazz hands him back into existence. You're gonna sit right here, you're gonna explain to the viewers what's happening, and you're not gonna sass me or so help me God. <laughs> I will do something that I later regret. Now, we will be getting the xylophone. That's something that I really have to do today. But first... I kind of want to figure out a few more spells. I feel like sparkly firework hands and musical touching isn't all that useful in real world scenarios and I don't really know where we're going, so... <laughs> Let's see what we can brew up. I don't remember what I did last time, so how about we just try a little of this and some of you and hope You've that this is new. Those ingredients. You should try something different. I am trying. That's strike one. Is there some kind of flusher on this cauldron? How am I supposed to restart? Oh, Igor, would you be a doll and take this out for me, please? Yeah, I, I made the same spell again. Igor, don't ignore me. Swear to God, Igor. Okay, you know what? Wingardium Coma Osa. How's that for magic? I'll see you when you wake up in six weeks, you jackass. I don't know what I'm supposed to do! You seem distracted, master. There are three types of ingredients. Use I know. one of each. I know how it works. I'm just using you as a spoon because I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing. But I know how it works, okay? Don't lecture me on ingredients. I'm the wizard around here. Hey. How many ingredients do you taste now? Huh? Is it one of each type? How am I doing something wrong now? Go ahead, speak up! We can't hear you, Skull! Uh... I told him I would do something that I would later regret. <laughs> ingredients go in the pot. Anything else does not. Wishful thinking, I suppose? I completely forgot that I enchanted my table to remind me of which ingredient I haven't used yet. That was all me, okay? The table isn't teaching me anything. But a touch of this should give me some kind of magical spell. A single touch from cursed hands makes objects fly and flutter by. Hold very still for them to land, and you may meet the butterfly. Simply touch something. I get it. You don't need to yell at me to touch something every time you give your little poem. I do love the poems, though, okay? You're a true poet. Now, you're a butterfly. <laughs> Come here, Skull. Land on my hand. You know you want to. Look at this sparkly, molten hand. Come here. Come here. There we go. Who's a good little friend? Good little friend. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, what the hell? Who? So who are you? Okay, either way, we need all the butterflies now. <laughs> More butterflies. 
<laughs> it's such a random little spell, but so cool. I really want to know if I can shoot them. I turned my crossbow into a butterfly. Are you my crossbow? Can I maybe use you to fire at the other ones? No, wishful thinking again. <laughs> All right, you know, no, no, just get away, get away. Last thing I need to do is, like I always say, touch my nips, touch my junk or something, and end up some kind of butterfly person. Hey, get back over here, okay? You, your place is right there. You're like my little undead parrot. Again, I don't know if butterfly magic is going to help me with wherever I'm going, so we need something else. Where'd the green ingredient go? I, I mean the emerald. I know what I'm talking about. Shut the hell up. Um, how about a little you? And then some of you. And some of this should be a new one. Yeah, you see, I got this under control. It's on lock. I now know what I'm doing. Why anyone would want to, it's difficult to say. But use the spell and you let out a swarm of frogs to play. Swarm? Simply touch something. Stop interrupting me! Oh, God damn it! A swarm of frogs? What the hell does that mean? <laughs> I know what it means! A swarm of frogs is a pretty descriptive thing, but... Like, how... It's just... Frog powers activate. Go! I don't get... Oh, Jesus. Okay, it's touching stuff again. Of course it's touching... It's always touching stuff. Hold on. I turned all of my coins into butterflies. I could have turned them into frogs. That Ow, 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 there's one on my face. Hold on, it, it's gone. I think I got it. This is so absurd. I want to boil a frog. Hey, come, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come. There's no way I'm... No, don't screw with the xylophone locations. God, that's the last thing that I need right now. How many frogs do you think I could put in one stupid VR room? Ow! Get get away! Stop sticking to me! I just want to make a frog friend! Come! Come! Ah! Don't move a muscle. I may have made a couple frogs bang. Nope, 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 nope. Not interested. No, thank you! <laughs> okay. So, we can now turn things into butterflies and banging kermits. Wonderful! That's gonna save me from anything that might attack me in another dimension. <laughs> That's where all my ingredients have been going. Probably because they were butterflies and frogs moments ago. What the hell? I mean, I guess every wizard has to have a hobby, right? Is it just me or did that sound a lot like my intro? It's a musical instrument. Do you play? Well, evidently, but... It could just be a, a random little trumpet taps, but at the same time, it does sound suspiciously like my intro. Maybe it's not an Easter egg. Maybe I'm just full of myself. <laughs> That's probably the case, to be perfectly honest. Uh, let's try one more spell. Okay, we'll do a little you and some of this and a touch of this. Yeah, I don't think we've done a whole lot of red yet. Oh yeah, that, look, that looks good. That looks very toxic. <laughs> Weightless. Every object in the world is chained by what it weighs, but with his power, it will seem like they're in outer space. <gasps> I don't think you would be doing spins in outer space like that. Then again, you're a talking skull, so you can do whatever the hell you want. Oh, we must have missed one butterfly. I'm gonna have to get Igor to get the tall ladder out to get you down, aren't I? Like, again, it's super whimsical, and I really like it, but I kind of wish it was Fireball. Fireball would have been a little bit more useful if I get into combat. I mean, maybe I can mix and match spells? Like, what if I turn my enemy into a frog, make it bang another frog, watched by some butterflies, and then have them float away into space? That seems like a pretty good defense. <laughs> I wouldn't screw with that. <laughs> oh... Oh, great. Everything just falls? Well, then. Except for you. How do you get around? All right, Skull. I think it's about time we get out of this place. So how about you tell me a little bit about this xylophone? Please? A, a little bit about the xylophone? No? Okay, what's the good of you, then? How about a little something about this? No? Hello? <laughs> Did you land on your forehead? All right then, that's to you. I, I guess I'll just... 
Why is it every time I play music, you come over? It's not karaoke music, okay? Nobody sings karaoke to a goddamn xylophone. Just go away. I'll, I'll let you know. You have a giant phone or something like that, I'm sure. Let's see here. CG, CGC. C, G, C, G, C, there we go. One bright day, two brothers argued near a well. They argued until one went home and claimed the other fell. Okay, that's kind of dark. How about you go first? Nope, I guess I'm going right. It's this one. I didn't think to look in the little globe to see where we were going. I kind of wanted to be surprised if there's new areas or something like that. But, oh, oh God. Oh God, no. Um, okay, we're just gonna do a little, huh? Yep. Yup, okay, you see all that around me? That that was terror farts. Oh, it took me away. I appreciate that. I wasn't really gonna leave, but I was super ready to go. Oh my god, VR heights, man, they make my knees weak. Y you wouldn't understand. In the earlier version of this game, I feel like each location that we went to had something in it. Right? It had something for us to bring back here, some kind of magical artifact. But all I brought back me was paints full of terror shit. So how about we go back again and this time try... No, I don't need your poem. Shut the hell up. Okay, uh, who? Anything? Any artifacts? Why, why would somebody put a bridge here? I don't get it. Just walk around. <laughs> right? You could just go that way and everybody would be happy. Uh... We got some coins. Yup, that, that's probably worth like 10 cents. I'm gonna make a wish. A wish for a clean pair of pants. No? How do, how do I leave? How do I leave now? Oh, it seems to just happen on its own now. There used to be a portal that you could take back, but now it's timed? That's convenient, but I didn't get anything. As far as I know, there's a whole lot of crap in here, so it's hard to tell. I have been getting trophies this entire time and not paying any attention to where they came from. We've got Sword Master and Crossbow Master, so that's probably the two mini games that we did the first time around. We also have Wizard Apprentice, uh, Catch This, which is probably from throwing something at Lord Stanley, Afraid of Heights, yeah, I think we can piece that one together, and Ah! Which is either from throwing him out the window or my latest dentist appointment. Really need to take the time to look around this place in detail. Because they've added so much stuff that we haven't seen before. And clearly there's a lot more stuff to do because we have at least two more challenge trophies and, what, four more accomplishments? I don't know. Like, I, I know what that is. That's unicorn horn. Okay, that's for, um, personal reasons. Don't worry about it. We also have, uh... Bottle of Giant. Yeah, that's what I make out of the unicorn horn. Ho, ho. It works real quick, too. Never mind about the tall ladder, Igor. I think we're good. I could probably get them myself if I needed to. Huh. This is not a perspective that I expected. No, you know what? Scratch that. This is a perspective that I did not expect. Hey, Fred. Uh, I'm in your ear. Can I maybe... Nope. I'm... I'm just... Did I just show... Oh, hey. Well, that was weird. <laughs> Sorry, man. I'm, I'm back to my normal size, but I kind of want to do that again. That was... Ooh, that was definitely something else. <laughs> it's probably what I usually use to get stuff off the hard-to-reach shelf, right? Like, whatever these are. Oh, swords. Yeah, we, we clearly need more swords. Toss that down there. You never know if you're going to need... And we got a mace. Maybe these are some of the challenges I'm supposed to be doing later on. Uh, I don't know what these are, but I've been seeing a lot of them all over the place. And it seems important, right? There's one there. We got that one. We got uh, four over there. 
strange. Some of them are big, some of them are small. I don't know, there's so many secrets in this place, I can't figure it out. I should have grabbed my pussy while I was up there. So we have the giant potion, and we have the small potion, which I haven't used yet, but I think we can piece together what it does. Sight, however... Not 100% sure. Okay, so, um, I just poured neon in my eyes, and acid in my mouth, apparently. <gasps> Holy crap, that's psychedelic. <laughs> it's like the 80s threw up in my face, I love it. Guys, I think I'm freaking out right now. <gasps> I've been standing here for like two minutes and it hasn't worn off. And I probably shouldn't have mixed and matched these, considering I'm not little, but I still got the sight. What if I do a little, huh? Okay, yeah. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> now I'm hearing a whole bunch of sounds, despite the fact that I'm not drinking any of you. Well then. <laughs> Oh, is this what it's like to overdose on magic? I don't like it. Oh, shit. I forgot about the rats. <laughs> the golden retriever-sized neon rats. Do I want to pick a fight with I'm going to go pick a fight with it. You know what? Screw you. Come here. You're not so tough. You're like a little floor kangaroo. Where, where do you think you're going? <laughs> this is what wizards do in their spare time. They just drink a bunch of psychedelics and then chase rats around their tower. Come on. Sorry about this, Whiskers, but fun time is over. I need to get back to magic. <laughs> Alright, well, that was an experience and a half. How about we travel to... Whatever this is. F-A-E-G-F. -E Thank God they put an E in there. You better have that poem ready, Skull, because I expect to be impressed. What darkness waits beyond the portals? Only time can tell. A single touch from puny mortals leads to bliss or living hell. Right, right, I remember that poem. Puny mortal, single touching, something like that, hell. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess we will try to touch things blissfully as a mortal. Wait, what? I don't remember this one. <gasps> I mean... That's nice. I'm sure I could find a place to hang that if I really needed to. Uh... Oh! Oh, right! Okay, I completely forgot. <laughs> this was the Revenge of Whiskers. Come on, bring it on, you giant mutant rat. I do not apologize for my actions. <laughs> I'll bring you down to Pound Town with my glitchy shit mortal weapons. Uh, yeah. I'm still gonna kill you, by the way. Come here, kitty. I, I, you know you're. What? I can't move? Oh, wait. Oh, come on! Who makes the rules in here? Why can't I move? I wanted to crush new whiskers. I was crapping on my fun. Was this your doing? Because it definitely wasn't mine. This is why we need fireball or something like this. Never did figure out what these are for. Not for crushing skulls, that's for sure. A glorified spoon if I've ever seen one. Why are you always coming back? Just, where the hell did it go? How is that rat so freaking fast? Where are you? I don't, Jesus. Okay, don't break the fart jars. Why do I always forget that? All I wanted to do was set off some stuff and see if we can flush him out. Come on, Whiskers, where are you? I know you're in there somewhere. You little rat bastard. Oh, there he is. Uh, nah, uh, nah, 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 my aim isn't great. There, suck it. There we go. <laughs> can I please have Fireball? Somebody clean this up. Where's Igor? I'm gonna do you. And you, and you. This has got to be new, right? There we go, that's the good stuff. Here, you can take a little of that. But tell me what I'm getting. There are powers in the north and south that can't be seen with naked eyes. Now bring them under your control and make everything magnetize. Oh, right. <laughs> I really like this one. I think this one might have been one of my favorites because 
Who doesn't want to play a VR game where you're Magneto, right? Oh, okay. Except in this case, I could just magnetize anything, more or less. Oh, they definitely changed this. I am not Magneto anymore. I do not know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm making a mess. Hey again, Fred. Good to see you. Everything is under control. Hey, Skull. What's in the bird cage? There's something in here. I, I just, I can't really grab it with my bat, all my hands in it. That can't have been what was in there this whole time. Hold on a second. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Something's in here. Something was in here. Did I let it out? There was, oh, I swear to God. There was, hold on a second. Let me just, uh, there we go. Yeah, he doesn't hear it coming for some reason. Deaf mice, right? I, there was definitely something in here. It was yelling. It was green. It was jumping around. And now they're... Oh, wait, wait. There it is. There it is. It's still in there. Just doesn't like water. Y you're not a water fan? Hold on. Hello? Is, is that you, little green thing? Explain what is going on here, please. No? Fine, see if I care. <laughs> I gotta figure this stuff out. I need to know what lives in my house with me. You know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Waltz of the Wizard, guys. And I'm still ecstatic to be able to play more of this game. I gotta say, I'm so happy that it's back and that I can make it a series. And you guys seem to be enjoying it. So if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video. Let me know, and I'll return to yell at Skull again soon. And thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.